All right, well. Okay, guys, we are back. One for I'm back. <laughs> yeah, Grant, Grant and Ben here from, or Ben and Grant, uh, whatever. Whatever's your preference. I'm back, guys. I'm All back. Right, so he's back from the anime expo that he went to throughout the weekend. I'm back uh, from LA. Right now it's Tuesday, July 5th. Uh, bringing you the yeah. the weather and the and the time zone, guys. All right, so it's uh, around uh, seven o'clock Pacific time. Uh, I I don't know what the weather is because I'm not a fucking weatherman. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. What are we? Well, anyways, guys, I am back. I made it back from the anime expo. It was awesome. You know, it was pretty great. You know, got to see some cool stuff. See some VR shit. You know, like, that was awesome. Yeah. Got to see some of my favorite animes. Well, not really, but you know, I got to see some animes. I got to see some good porn. You know. Oh wait, I didn't say that. But you Can't know, whatever. Talk. Okay. Got to meet somebody I really fucking love from YouTube. You know who you are. You're fucking awesome. I love you. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I guess I'll tell more, but we got some stuff to talk about. All right. So we want to start with. You want to uh, talk about what happened to you at the anime? Any 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 any, any interesting things happened to you at the anime expo? How's that? Uh, yeah, actually, a, a okay. bunch. You know. The Anime Expo is really great because you get to see a lot of people who share the same passion as you. I did not realize I can't go there. Fuck, I'm going to die again. Fuck me. No. But anyways, you meet a lot of people there. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely met some people there. And th this is not in a good way. So I was I was just walking. I was, this was the last day. I was walking on the elevator. Mm -hmm. okay. And or I wasn't walking on the elevator. That sounds stupid. We were on the, the you were in the elevator. The escalators, not the elevator. Oh, okay. We were in the escalators, and we were just we were walking down because like we were gonna see uh, someone because my brother didn't see this certain person. We were gonna go visit her, and uh, I was looking at my shirt because I bought a shirt from the the expo. It was a pretty nice shirt. And, you know, I was just going to do that, right? I'm looking down at my shirt. I'm having the gayest time of my life right now. I'm fucking just like... Shout out to Barry. <laughs> Shout out to Barry, yeah. Our editor. Who still doesn't know how to edit. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, anyways. He'll probably, like, kill me. But, you know, whatever. So, like, we were, we were going down this elevator, right? Escalators. And escalators, fuck. And I was not paying attention, right? And then all of a sudden, I feel, I feel this shit on my hand. Like, it was like someone's hand was grazing my hand. And then I was just like, I was so in disbelief, I was just like, what the fuck is on my hand? And then I actually look up, and it's this one fucking nerdy kid. And he literally, he holds his arm back to me. Like, he's like, I want you. And he has, like, these glasses and everything. I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? And it's funny, because I didn't think he was hitting on me, actually. I thought he was, like, a friend. I was like, do what? Oh, shit, I know this guy. Who is he? Who is this guy? Because I, I think he looks familiar. Not really. He just looked nerdy. But I was just like, shit, who is this guy? I need to find out. But then once I walked down, like, I was silent for a couple seconds. And I turned to my brother. I was just like, what the hell was that? And then my brother just was like, uh, they just want to see your ID. Calm down. I was like, no, you idiot. Someone just touched my hand on the elevator. Escalator. El escalator. I'm just so <laughs> confused right now. It was, I don't know. It was the, it wasn't like, fuck me. I will never get past this part if I keep talking, but just keep on going. it was just, I don't know. Like this guy, it was a kid. Actually, this kid just touched my hand. He was like great. Like it was literally like, just like he was hitting on me and shit. What the fuck? Like, no, like he was like turning his hand like this on like my feeling hand. you up. He was, he, feeling, he was feeling up my hand. And then he was like, Oh, like, like if he wanted to pet my chin, I was like, uh, what uh, do i know this guy because you're know, like you and me we do some gay jokes sometimes like let's not lie but yeah. it's like it's never like we actually like do physical contact to each other where it's like we're fucking gay you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. it, it was just the weirdest shit i have like, seen he didn't even try to start up a conversation like at first no he didn't even buy me a drink he didn't do <laughs> shit like he just great like and like if it was if this was a girl again i would be like what the fuck are you doing actually what, I, fuck? what, a, what an asshole he didn't even kiss you before he put it in hey exactly like <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> like honestly like even if this was a girl i wouldn't care because it's just out of nowhere they just graze my hand like what the fuck were you thinking like that's just stupid yeah like okay yeah because like this happened something like this happened to me actually uh before uh, that happens so i was walking and uh, i think i was walking out of winko and uh, i was walking uh, uh, with a friend on my side on my right side and then we were, we were walking i was looking at him talking to him and, and then all of a sudden i feel this like grant look at me so you can kind of see like i feel a hand 
like, on ca- your chest? like caress my chest right like no i was like walking and then this girl passed by and like her she stuck out her hand and she caressed my chest and i just kind of stopped and i was like wait what the fuck and then like her all her her hand like caressed throughout my chest and went down to my left arm and then she went all the way down without like like not touching me you know she, she kept on touching me yeah. like her, her hand was still in contact with my body and i was like wait what the fuck and like I got confused for like a good five to ten seconds, not realizing that it was actually a girl that I knew. But it's like, yeah, like you would still be weirded out even if you like if you especially if you don't know the person, even if it's a girl. Yeah. Like I was still weirded out at first because I was like, what the, who the fuck is this? Like, but and then I realized like, oh, I actually know her, and it's like it makes you know it doesn't make sense still. But you know that she was fucking like all whatever. Of it's like at least shit. you know the bitch. Uh, yeah, like but it's like my point is like yeah you're you're right even if it was a girl you know just doing that to you all randomly you still feel yeah. Like, I confused. just I was just confused. confused. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't like, and I, I I actually had a few other experiences where like there was these just girls who were hitting on me the whole time. One of them thought I was actually uh because I was wearing this faku thing. It, you, do you know what faku is actually? I I don't think you do. No. It's a no. type. It's a type of hentai. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's hentai. Know. You got that much, but like it's it's this like sort of big hentai thing and everything. It's very popular, and my brother got this two lanyards because he went there. And he gave one to me, so I had this faku thing on me. So I was passing by this like fucking like I was passing by this like hentai like board. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't realize it was hentai. I was just passing by it like trying to get to the other side. Yeah, <laughs> chicken. But anyways, like yeah, I was just passing by and this girl was just like, oh, we're having some nice sales here. Do you want to check them out? I was just like, uh, no thanks, I'm good. Not because I'm not into hentai, just because. Oh yeah, she really hit on you asking you for sales. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah she was just like she was she was like getting she was like trying to get me over to that booth i was just like yeah no thanks i'm good isn't that and what they're uh, supposed to do what isn't that what they're supposed to do not the way she was doing it <laughs> like she was just like very weird about it and i got there and she wasn't even showing me the fucking product like that's what pissed me off like i wanted to see some hentai and she just she just showed me like her fucking boobs like it was, they were pretty nice but like <laughs> <laughs> she was she was also cosplaying too. She was like I don't know what she was trying to be, but she was cosplaying as somebody. I don't think it was Harley Quinn, maybe Poison Ivy, maybe. But like she was cosplaying as something. Oh god. And she was just hating on me the whole time. I was just like, I don't care, miss. Like if you're gonna sell me something, sell me something. Yeah, suck my dick, suck it, you know, like you know, something. No, don't even suck my <laughs> penis. Like you're not you're not worth my time. <laughs> Like even if you're hot, I, well, which she was actually, she was pretty. She was pretty hot. And I was just like, you're not even worth my time right now. I don't care. <laughs> like I wanted I, to see some damn hentai. I wanted to. I want to see some hentai. Okay. <laughs> you called well, me over here to see some fucking hentai. By the way, I finally beat this. <laughs> oh yeah, I just realized thank, that. Thank God, but yeah, that was a funny story. But that was it. Like, oh, well, there's more. Uh, not hentai stories. Anime expo stories I'll tell throughout the day, but. <laughs> so anyways, Ben, what's what's new with you? Um, not much, man. Not much. Um, you know, La- last time the- I saw you, we got to watch Independence Day. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, that was the last time we saw each other. And, um, oh, God, man. You want to get into that? Yeah, let's get into it. We're going to do a review, official review, but we're also going like, to kind of give our thoughts. The review might come first. So, yeah. How disappointed were you, pretty much? Oh, God, man. You know, um, I just kind of, like, I was sitting there watching the movie it realized it was going to be long as fuck and nothing special was going to happen nothing badass uh somebody mentioned to me the other day he's like no first of all like how can you even like go and watch that movie knowing like will smith was not going to be in it it's like yeah i mean you know you gotta give it a chance still right but it's like yeah I mean, i'm you, not you gonna out, yeah i'm yeah, not gonna like, knock the movie yeah, just because will smith's like, you gotta not give it a in chance there. but you know, it's like yeah will smith was a big part of it obviously because you know he's just you know amazing yeah but i will say and like bill paxton and jeff goldblum like all these actors they were also great yeah so. it's like but you know the problem you know it, it was just disappointing you know the visuals some of them look good but then again you know like you, you mentioned, uh, you know, a lot yeah, of like it ev- good, every you know? movie nowadays just looks good. It looks so. pretty good. It's kind of hard for them to fuck it up. So it's like they could have made it more special. I wish that they did like sort of like how they did it originally, where they okay. built mob. Okay, models. so like, it, it's funny though because like they they took out Will Smith and Will Smith's son supposedly, or you know, Captain Hiller's son supposedly, right? Yeah. In the movie, and it's like. If you're barely going to have him in the movie, why even, you know, bring him out? Like, you know, just make it as, you know, new people. It's, you know, because, uh, you know, it's not like completely new people because you have still some of the whole uh, old actors like Jeff Goldblum and, you know, all those stuff, etc. 
And it's like if if you and then, but you can be like, oh, everybody's new, but you don't just have to throw him in there just because he's gonna be, you know, uh, Captain Hiller's son. I, yeah, like, I feel like they no, were just they were trying to, to justify killing off Will Smith, and it's yeah, like, and I think no, the, the, that's not the, the how it thing works. that pissed me off the most was the the way that they killed off Will Smith. The suppose they mentioned oh, it in God. one fucking line, one fucking line, dude. Like they could have given like a uh, a, a s- one scene. Like couldn't they call once Will Smith make one scene with us to give you a good honorable death? Not just fucking mention him. Yeah, in like one uh, he scene. died. He's like, yeah, he died, guys. Yeah. It, he, he no, died. it's no, literally it, not it, even that. It's like it's your like, father would be proud. It's yeah. a shame he died. No, okay. Okay. They said this. He said. He said your father would be proud. He's like, it's a shame that he had to go in a fucking test, uh, a test drive for a fucking ship, a test drive. What the fuck? Yeah, Will Smith, <laughs> the the most badass dude he alive. He took off. A, took on an alien race, and he fucking died in a test flight. Are you fucking serious? Like, okay, I guess. And like, you mentioned it in one line as death, not even going to detail or something. No, you fucking mention it in one line. It's a shame that your father cannot be here, having to be lost him in a test flight. Like what the fuck? That's dude? so like that sounds kind of like like <laughs> not condescending. Like so like just like like disrespectful. It's like huh, it's a shame your father died in a test. <laughs> He died in a test? It's like, <laughs> how can you take that like, seriously? I think, I think he fucking almost laughed, I swear, in that scene when you said that, dude. Cause it's like, the actor the in real fuck? life was just like, oh, come on, guys, you're joking, right? Will Smith in a test drive. <laughs> and, then, and then they put this picture in the White House, dude. Like That was kind of badass, but uh, it's, like, it's still like, like what if the you're fuck? Gonna, you're going to have him in the White House, and you're going to have him die. Like, the stupidest fucking way, too, like you can mention him and give him such a dishonorable death. Like... Come on, dude. Yeah, like, I, I didn't like... I, I honestly just, like... The movie was too serious when, like, Independence Day was more just, like, a fun action movie. Or, yeah, it's like... Well, it's and it's like, here's badass. just... It's like, here it's like, his son is just, like, so uptight, so even, into the military. Even, like, all the new characters suck. Like, all the new characters yeah, are terrible. Dude, like, uh, the little None girl of them are the White good. House, though, um, from the other one, like, she, you know how she's supposed to be older now? It's like, I don't her, care. Dude, like, she was boring. Care. Like, I think she's like, you're supposed to care about her or something? I like, don't know. Like, oh, man, her father died. No, I don't oh, care no, if I her, spoil it. Oh, no, her incredibly, you know, good-looking fiancé, Liam Hensworth, the, the pretty boy of the movie, is, you know, you oh, to, shit. apparently you have to care for him, too. Apparently, I th- he was so honestly like, I, I don't really have a problem with the actor. I don't know him. I have barely seen him in any look, movies. But I, like, like I was telling my uh, sister the other day, look, well, Liam Hemsworth is not that he's a bad actor, right? He's not. You know, he, well, I mean, it's just look, the movies he's the in problem, are bad yeah, too. The, pro- the problem is that you know every movie that he fucking comes out in dude like they make him the cliche pretty boy of the movie and that that ruins his fucking acting i was like guys if he can you know live up to expectations of being a good actor but you just guys gotta let him off you know without being the fucking pretty boy of the movie like i feel bad for him because like fucking his brother is terrible movies his brother is thor like poor guy but like like, his brother's thor like even you know like the expandables 3 like they still did the same shit dude like they could have made him like this badass young fresh guy for the expandables even though it has like amazing you know classic actors right but it's like they they fucking had to throw in a little cliche in there where it's like you have to make him the pretty boy of the movie and, you know, and kill him off and, and the, yeah kill him off and you have to make like this one fucking girl go crazy for him you know it's like no, obviously dude, like leave that alone dude and let him play his part don't give him a girlfriend in a fucking movie that way he can actually be a badass and oh uh, let me mention this, this never soft- ever have him fucking piss in a movie again that was just so oh, painful. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just pissing on the ship. Like, okay. And then, like, all I, these I, fucking I, shots, like, just randomly fucking miss him. Like, what the It's just fuck? like, oh, shit, the aliens came for me. It's like, why? I, I uh, You seem to be handling it pretty good. I mean, you're smiling and shit. Like, the aliens don't even seem to be hitting you. I'll give the movie one thing. I guess the aliens looked a little bit cooler in their design, but even then, they were fucking pathetic. They were they didn't do shit. They were shit. so stupid, dude. Like they could they didn't kill nobody. Nobody, you know, like, they did kill people. Like, like they tried to go it, through, like, it, some it, sad. Honestly, it looked more dish. accidental than ever. It's it's more. Like, I didn't really see the fear. It's like, they're, like, all counting down and saying, like, okay, we're going to all kill these motherfuckers right now. But it's like, no, here it's just like, oh, shit, our, our, our ship has our own gravity. We're accidentally sort and of it's killing like, these uh, people. And it's like, Sorry. Because it's, it's like, you know, uh, they mentioned also, like, uh, 
Why is it that you know, they're 30 seconds away from, you know, going into the core of the Earth and all that to, you know, fucking destroy it, apparently, right? I love how the core they're, just did not react. Yeah, like, the Earth like, was just 30 like... 30 seconds from getting there, and it's like, yeah, let's pull out just because our queen died. Like, you know, yeah, guys. Uh, well, I, I kind of get... I, I kind of get it. go for like a... No, the thing is, like, they're all connected to a hive, so it's like, if the queen dies, they all die. Which I guess no, that's kind just, of clever, but no, that, that but wasn't in the original. No, but they, they didn't even die though. Like they, they just pulled back. They no, they didn't. Back. They died. No, they pulled back. When did they pull back? Oh, the big ass ship. The ship. ship. The big ass ship. The just ship. Pulled back. The ship pulled yeah, back. The, but the, the rest the, of yeah, them, they died. The rest died. of them, they died. But like, I'm like, that's my point. Like, the, the, why did that big ass fucking ship that covered like a two thirds of the fucking earth? You know. I guess you could maybe say it was protocol, back. but even then, that's like a stretch. Like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, like you gotta stretch it out a little bit too much for that kind of shit. We I don't know. Fifteen million more. But anyway, guys, um, you know, our full review will probably ha will probably come out before this video, so this is just like extra thoughts. And yeah, all guys. That. Some of the stuff will be mentioned in the full review, but fuck, I fucked it up. Well, they didn't. I didn't they expect. Did, uh, I didn't expect yeah, much well, to begin with. Well, when they said Will Smith wasn't gonna be in there, yeah, I didn't expect much either. Like, I went in there expecting nothing, just to hopefully enjoy myself. But the problem is that there was a little bit too much bullshit in the movie pertaining too to Will serious, Smith. Too serious. Too serious. And not Way enough Jeff Goldblum. Not, not enough Jeff yeah, Goldblum. Not enough Jeff Goldblum. Uh, no uh, explanation. Better honorable death for uh, Will Smith. That's what kind of ticked me off the most. But. Yeah, man, you know, they, 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 for me, they fucked it up. Uh, they did, you know, they could have went a different direction with the movie. I honestly, I did not have any expectations. But anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll make a full review. Uh, anyway, guys. Next time I want for a review. Next time I want for a review.